Hey guys, this is Patrick here with MT Knives. It's getting that time of year where things are starting to cool off. And my shop didn't have any heat. Uh, well, I had an old barrel stove that was rusting out. So I had to come up with a heating solution. So I wanted to make me a rocket stove. I seen this uh, design on another guy's YouTube site. I'll post a link to his site. Uh, his videos are kind of long and uh, has a little bit of profanity. So just a little disclaimer there. But this is basically his design. I've modified it, uh, made some improvements on it. He used, his, he used some flanges that he purchased that I didn't buy. And uh, he ran his exhaust up higher. I ran mine out the bottom. And uh, I just built this today. It took me maybe five hours. Yeah, a ballpark. So what I did was, also he just used straight vermiculite. I use concrete and vermiculite and a high temp uh, like masonry um, concrete. So I used some screws. I cut this 8 inch flange and flared it out, screwed it on. Used my 6 inch flange. I went straight inside the barrel, straight back up for my uh, stack. And uh, I'm going to fasten this lid on later, but this is kind of warm. Let's see. So uh, there you can see the stack. I just uh, got back from town, so this thing's not not real hot right now. But that stack on the inside is a six inch pipe with an eight inch pipe around it. And then I uh, concreted the inside of this bucket up to about here. So um, I used uh, the vermiculite and concrete up to probably about right up above the stove pipe a little bit and uh, anyways we'll get this thing going and show you kind of how it works I was burning some green sticks in it earlier and uh, it worked pretty well even for the the lumber that was wet but it works a lot better with uh, some seasoned firewood. And uh, I first fired this thing up. I didn't even have any stovepipe on it, and it was drafting pretty good. So, anyways, the basic concept of a, a rocket stove is with that insulated fire chamber, it gets really hot in there. And... Uh, you get almost a complete combustion or you should get complete combustion really close so it's a clean fire use less wood more efficient and um, the reason I want to go with concreting this in is because the temperatures inside there I'm afraid can and will melt that stove pipe and if you just have the vermiculite in there when you blow a hole through that stove pipe it's going to clog everything up and it's going to quit working so I went ahead and concreted it in. So if it ever does burn through that stove pipe, my stove will still work. So as you can see, it's got a pretty good rocket effect going on. Um, got good draw. So anyways, I just thought I'd show you guys my, my new stove. Pretty happy with it. It'll work even better once all this concrete's dry. Uh, I lit a smaller fire in it earlier, and it uh, it's still drying. And let's see if I can't get a little more wood in there. Uh, we actually some kids were over here. They stuck a nail down in here. And it was getting red, kind of yellow, hot. So that tells you how hot it will get down in there. And uh, the top of this, I would say, is a good probably five, six hundred degrees when it when it gets up to temperature. You drop some water on there, and it'll just dance right off. So what it does is, when it burns, it comes up that center stack, extremely hot, 
and it hits the top of this can up here and it it's the top is about an inch and a half down from the stack so then as as it comes up it cools comes down the sides of the barrel and out the exhaust and even this stovepipe here right now it's cool to the touch earlier after it had been running for several hours I could touch it up here and it was it was warm you know maybe 120 degrees or so so you're not having very much heat go out the stack at all let's see if I can't give you a look now it's going a little better you'll have flames coming out that when it really gets going you'll have flames coming out the top of that stack Daddy, I, got my on. I see I like your headlight <laughs> my son here so let's see if we can't see any flames when I lift this up no not yet man that's really hot I'm gonna actually fasten this lid down later on so anyways thanks for watching give me your comments tell me what you think I think it's going to do a good job of heating my shop and uh, we'll uh, give you an update later on once it's all broke in. Have a good night.